You gosh dang Loch Ness Monster? I ain't telling my Griffin and my Frankie for no tree fitty. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, sports card fans. Have you ever been annoyed with some of the eBay messages that you get or some of the offers that you get? Well, if you sell on eBay, more than likely you're gonna have to deal with a couple of knuckleheads who send you some really confusing messages and offers. And we're gonna be going through a handful of some of the messages that I get and getting my reactions to them. So we're gonna go through a couple of these now and some of these are gonna make me potentially look pretty bad, but here is my takeaway on this. If you ever get annoyed with messages, you really shouldn't get annoyed because what I have adopted as a strategy because we're dealing with the general public and the general public you know, by and large is not that savvy, is to really just make fun of the situation and make light of it. I try to have as much fun with my eBay messages as possible, including my eBay listing descriptions, which are very ruthless, <laughs> and also some of the messages that I communicate to. So if anyone here is offended in any way, I don't apologize. <laughs> you should laugh with me. All right, first one. Topps Chrome Sonic Dual Refractor Autograph of Derek Jeter and Cal Ripken Jr. I had this on the market for $7.98.98. Somebody sent me an offer of $111 for this card. So my response, you get dropped on your head, dog? <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's it's worth questioning because you never know if any of these people actually get dropped on their head and that's why they're really confused as to what the market price is for your cards. Uh, next, another really big card. So Frank Thomas and Ken Griffey Jr. autograph patch. We got some guy offering me $75. I mean, <laughs> so I usually counter in this case basically with not really providing any discount whatever whatsoever and then I usually send a message, big discount coming bruh. Or dog something along those lines because typically that's usually the type of language that they likely use in their everyday uh, discourse based on the type of offer that I get so um, I really have to stoop down to their level and their uh, vernacular next this was a junior Caminero autograph and I think one of the last ones uh, may have sold for like 150 so I don't know what I have this one listed for I love these questions because it is almost like there's a TikTok influencer out there who is teaching a bunch of new people how to buy baseball cards and they're all following the same script. Uh, what's the lowest you can go? I love this question because I can do so many things with this question. I usually respond with something like this. What's the highest that you'll pay of what's the lowest you can go? As if this is some magical question that unlocks the secrets to having cards be bought at the lowest possible price. So I just like to have a lot of fun with that type of question and maybe there's gonna be more of this. All right, next we got a Roki Sasaki Refractor PSA 10. Y'all know I really like him. Had it listed very, very high. At the time these were going for like 350, 400. And <laughs> I get a message from this guy. This is a hard card to value based on recent sales. I thought this would be fair. I truly believe in this rookie, so I'm willing to take risk on Japanese native player. What's the best you can do on him? Well, I just replied to LOL. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Next, this is a really, really good one. Uh, James Wood, whenever he was starting to pop off. At this time, PSA 10 refractors were probably in the 100, 120 range. I get a low ball offer of $40. My immediate response to that is, if you're gonna offer me a significantly below comp value offer on something that is very liquid, that is gonna get a price that is very close to what I'm usually getting, I mean, you have no good faith intention in terms of really having a deal with me uh, or making a deal. You're you're just out there fishing. If you want reasonable offers, make reasonable offers. $400,000 would not be too bad of a nest egg for me to just throw in the SP500 and let it ride for about 10, 12% for another 20, 30 years. That'd be great. Uh, so I counter with 400,000, he counters with $1. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm willing to negotiate here. I mean, I, I counter with 40,000. I'd give him a massive 90% discount off of my original uh, counter offer price, which he did not accept. He raised it roughly 50% to $1.50. Then I counter this with 1,500. So I'm really, really coming down on this card. Um, even bigger discount, bro, invest. Become the next Jeff Wilson dog. He did not accept that offer, unfortunately, and he may be on my block list, I can't remember. Next! <laughs> this was 2023 Prestige CJ Stroud Gem Mint. Now, these are really not meant to be expensive cards. I mean, PSA 10s are probably like 25, 30, 35 bucks. I get a lot of crap for grading stuff like this from even people who watch the channel. $2. And I'm, I really have to wonder, what is going through 
the mind of someone who submits that offer? Like, are they genuinely confused and new as they see that a raw card goes for $2 and they're like, oh, you know, this one has to be $2 because, and they don't know grading. I don't think that's the case though. So I usually counter with, again, something crazy like $200,000. And then I make a clever message like, you're not gonna get ahead by acting poor. Actually, that's not true. If he keeps sending out those $2 offers and gets a couple yeses, he will actually come out ahead. <laughs> I'm just being a, you know, an idiot whenever I counter. All right, here's another one. 2023 Panini Mosaic Reactive Yellow PSA 9. So this was roughly about a $75, $80 card, give or take, uh, at the time. Uh, again, Prism wasn't really out in mass and, and graded. And I think Optic Preview was the only thing else out. So $35, I mean, dude. <laughs> You're offering 75% below comps, brah. Is that your strategy, homie cake? <laughs> uh, this one's pretty good too. Uh, Panini Prism Instant Impact CJ Stroud Silver SSP case set PSA 10. Someone makes an offer of 250. I respond, last one sold 775. I understand that my price is higher, but your offer is nowhere near competitive. It is my understanding that <laughs> Naples was home to one of the highest per capita billionaire rates in the world. Why are you poor? <laughs> Do a little bit of due diligence on this just to see where these people are coming from. I gotta know what you know, neck of the woods they're crawling out of to make these such low ball offers. I, California, just wait, you're coming. And New York. <laughs> Here's another one. Sharp Corners 408 sent a message about a uh, Steph Curry that I had. He just sends a message 186. I just simply say that's like 25 to 50% below sale price. <laughs> I also, make an offer. Like literally it's buy it now best offer. There's a a best offer button. You you literally don't have to send a message. There's no exchange needed. Uh, Otani red autograph PSA 10 that I have listed. Uh, first offer 1400. It's actually a pretty fair offer. Um, that's that's not bad. I just don't want to sell it. So I countered with 1800. Uh, very shortly after, countered with 25 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so I counter with basically full asking price, maybe a little bit of a discount. And I say, LOL, did Otani shoot someone in the past hour? Uh, that was in March. I can't remember if that was during the gambling allegations, like what the exact timeline of that was, but two feedback better. Meh. 95, MJ, PSA 7. This is an insert. It's not a very high value insert, but it's not worth 99 cents. You know, again, I counter with a ridiculous price, not almost a million dollars. Now, like you people from Cali are supposed to be a reach. You're supposed to be a reach. <laughs> what gives, brochacho? Uh, here's another one. New York, you're up. Uh, Matt Olson Blue Refractor PSA 9. I think I ended up selling this for over 100, but $9 offer from New York. Uh, he's got over a thousand feedback too. He, he should know better. So I counter with a uh, very realistic, rational offer of 90 million. I mean, Matt Olson, he had over 40 home runs last year for the Braves. I mean, invest. New York is an expensive place I hear. Guess that took all your money. Well, he did not accept that offer. Next, we got Ichiro and Griffey Jr. autograph, $600 offer. Uh, I responded. <laughs> Full asking price. Why are you poor? <laughs> Why are you poor? <laughs> Why are you poor? <laughs> you supposed to be rich. <laughs> All right, here's another one. 98 Topps Chrome Championship Spirit. Again, I think these were like in the 150 to 170 range. Get an offer of 80. I counter with 175. Get another offer of 85. <laughs> and I just decline it. I'm like, stop being poor. <laughs> you won't get that far ahead, my friend. <laughs> They are my friends at the end of the day. Everybody is my friend. I'm just giving good life advice. All right, here's one. This one's good. Buy it now price, question mark. Thanks. <laughs> I have it listed buy it now and the offer is turned on. So what I simply respond to this is a picture of the offer button. Uh, hopefully you all can see that there. And also the message offer, make an offer. <laughs> It's that simple. Just make an offer. Here's another one. $55 from Shell Z's 0721. Oh, it gave me a $55 offer. I counted with 25,000. Spe <laughs> Special price for you, <laughs> my inbred homie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Again, you have to have fun with this. <laughs> you have to have fun with it. Uh, 
All right, Junior Caminero Gold Refractor PSA 10. Got an eight dollar <laughs> eight dollar offer. Um, I counter with eight million. Pay up, you peasant boy. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, I don't care what you say. Uh, Greg Maddox, Orange Refractor PSA 10. I didn't even have PSA 10 in the title. I, don't, I think I ran out of characters. Maybe I, I fixed that a little bit later on. <laughs> Todd Hole, 1983, $15 offer. Man, he's he's really fishing. He's fishing with some, you know, not such great bait. Let's put it that way. I counter with 200000 I think that's reasonable. More reasonable than a $15 offer. Special deal. <laughs> the more hillbilly you are, the better deal you get, filler. <laughs> I can't remember where he was from. Um, Todd Hole, 1983, good fella. All right, Wisconsin, you're up. Jackson Cheerio Atomic Refractor PSA 10, $2 offer. Uh, again, at auction from g main g main g main g 53 uh, $20,000 counter offer to his $2 offer. Inflation hitting you hard up there in Wisconsin, my dog? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Everybody's just abusing my Frankie and my King Griffey Jr. This one was a really, really funny. From Doberman690, he throws out a fair off of Tree Fitty. You gosh dang Loch Ness Monster? I ain't telling my Griffey and my Frankie for no Tree Fitty. <laughs> we had taco salad that night. Don't matter what we had for dinner, woman. Now this alien had a big head and big black eyes, and it was all bent over me. I said, what do you want from me, alien? And do you know what he said? Tree fitty. Uh, let me tell the damn story now. He said tree fitty. And so I realized that it wasn't no alien. It was that goddamn Loch Ness Monster again trying to trick me into giving him tree fitty by dressing up like an alien. I just gave him tree fitty the week before. What? You gave that monster another damn tree fitty? He tricked me. Well, no wonder the damn monster keeps coming back to our house. That's Chrome Black, Ronnie. Acuna Jr. Um, got a $100 offer. That's basically a raw price. It's basically a raw price. So, you know, I need a premium on my PSA 10s here. I mean, what about my $500? <laughs> who's going to pay me my premium? Oh, boy. <laughs> Panini Prism, Travis Kelsey, Jim Mint Rookie, PSA 10, $25 offer from Rabies Sports Car. Rabies? <laughs> He's got rabies. That's why. <laughs> Uh, I didn't even catch that. Man, I should have caught it. Maybe I was thinking rabies. He's got rabies, bruh. $250,000 counter offer. Because he has rabies, maybe he would have been confused and accepted that, but he didn't. Tax is getting to you? I hear that. Don't take it out on me, buddy old pal. Here's a good one. <laughs> uh, CJ Stroud, Optic Preview, Hollow, PSA 10. Jim, oh, Jimmy, old pal, uh, sent an offer of 75 bucks. And this is one of the first PSA 10s to hit the market. One of the first, you know, dozen or so. You know, I, I countered with a very meticulously crafted counter offer of 3.75 million. I thought that was fair. Special discount for your retire a humanity. <laughs> I think this is just so funny. I have a lot of fun with this. Here's another one. Same card. First dude offers me, jaha, <laughs> yeah. Maybe the J silent. Yaha. $15 offer. I respond with a counter offer of 150000 I offer you something equally ridiculous in the opposite direction. You homeless, bruh? $15 won't even cover two Big Macs, bruh? And then he counters me with almost a legitimate offer of $15 and saying, stop playing. I, <laughs> I just imagine him, stop playing, man. Stop playing, man. <laughs> I counter 150,000 again, and I get a little bit more serious here. The fact here that my offer is laughably high and your offer is laughably low. The true market price is certainly in the middle, and it's all dependent on whether a human from Wisconsin making the offer wants to be taken seriously. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> Another $75 offer. This one from Stakla. Stakla. I counter with $349.99 because this is a buy it now best offer, so I can't offer something even more ridiculous. This is a very fair buy it now at the time. Durka, durka, durka. <laughs> durka, durka, durka. <laughs> I love that movie. It's so funny. All right, 2022 Zenith. My homes, my patty cake, PSA 10. I get a $5 offer. This has to be a Joe Burrow or a Josh Allen fan. Keep Marty. Keith Marty, you didn't even put the H in there for Keith. I'm imagining your name's Keith. Whose name is Keith? K E I Kite? Kite Marty? $5 offer, bro. 
So I just counted 50,000. Have some respect for your goat, my dog. Patty cake on the way. Dude, this is April. This card was in Fuego in April. March and April. Silver Ice Wimby, PSA 10. I get a, tw <laughs> get a $25 offer from direct sale. Maybe he was an incel. Maybe that's what he was. $25 is an incel. He's really just trying to grow his margin here so that he can strike better success rates with the ladies. Well, you know, I again came up with another meticulously crafted counter offer. This time $23,505,343. Again, careful calculations on how I came up to that. Proprietary knowledge. My message. Oh, man. $25 for my Wimby? Why you cat it broke? Always acting broke, you poor devils, you. I'm just, that's just, <laughs> I have a lot of fun with this, as you can tell. More low ball offers on my Travis Kelsey. What is going on here? PSA 10, Kelsey rookie, $10 offer from Solon Trup. <laughs> oh, one, Solon, these names. All right, I counted with 300,000. Again, I thought that was pretty fair. You know, it's close to market rate at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, are you as high as me right now, my dog, chief in that Casey Chiefs Kush? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go down into the sewer with everybody else, and again, you, you d devolve down onto their level, and that's just where you have to be in order to strike a deal. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Wimby Silver, PSA 10. <laughs> Armonsta, a monster, our monster. Thirty dollar offer. <laughs> this is a Californian as well, the great communist state of California. I counter with thirty thousand. You know, my impression and the way that the outside world perceives California is that everybody there has got to be rich. They're loaded right now. A lot of assets have appreciated in value during this COVID bubble. So you know they're trying to take advantage of the rest of the world by lowballing on our assets, like our real estate, like our sports cards, like um, businesses. So I'm kind of playing the other side of that coin, where I want a piece of their equity. And this is how I go about it. You know, you lowball me, I highball you. I'm legit confused how all you Californians have multi-million dollar homes, yet you're so poor, too poor, to make reasonable competitive offers on ball cards. What in the world is wrong with you aliens? That is a very legitimate question. One that really, really needs to be answered. So I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> We're through April. I've got plenty more <laughs> on top of this, guys. Uh, let me know what you all think down below. You think this is kind of funny? You want to see more? There are a lot of Neanderthals out there roaming about submitting offers on eBay and for which you have to interact with on a regular basis. And sometimes logic, rationale, and data is not necessarily the easiest mechanism to strike a deal. Sometimes you do have to devolve to their level, again, of intellectual discourse, and um, that's how you strike deals. So let me know what you all think.